today's video is on binomial distribution and this is related to the probability distribution. Here the question is the mean and the variance of a binomial distribution are 4 and 4 by 3 respectively. And now we have to find the probability for x greater than or equal to 1. Here when you observe what is the mean value. So mean is given as 4 and variance is given as 4 by 3. And we have to find out the probability of x greater than or equal to 0. See the solution here. First of all, what is given? The mean of a binomial distribution. The mean is equal to 4. And the variance of the binomial distribution is nothing but 4 by 3. As you know from the definition, the mean is nothing but n into p. So, mean mu is equal to so, mean mu is equal to NP is equal to 4 and the variance, what is the formula of variance? NPQ. NPQ is equal to 4 by 3. So, this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. See, now we need the value of, for binomial distribution, we need the value of uh, P, Q and N. So, now I am going to divide this one. So, 1 divided by 2. So, equation 1 divided by 2, that is NP by, this is NPQ, is equal to this value is 4 by, this is again 4 by 3. So, if I cancel NP and see 1 by Q is equal to 4 into, this is 3 by 4. So, if I even cancel this one, so Q value is equal to, so Q is equal to 1 by 3. So, we got the value of Q as 1 by 3. And next, we know that the total probability that is P plus Q is equal to 1. So, after getting Q value, so it's very easy to get P value. That is, P plus 1 by 3 is equal to 1. P is equal to, this is 1 minus 1 by 3. And so, P is equal to, so if I take an LCM as 3, then this will be 3 minus 1, 2 by 3. So, this is uh, P value and uh, we have, see here, mean is equal to NP. NP is equal to 4. So, we have mean mu is equal to, the mean is given as NP is equal to 4. So, what is the value of P here? So, if I substitute the value of P, I will be getting the value of N is equal to 4. So this implies that N is equal to 4 into this is 3 by 2. So, if I cancel this in 2 table, n is equal to 2, 3 is a 6. So, n value is 6, p value is 2 by 3 and q value is 1 by 3. Now, in the binomial distribution, if mean is given as 4 and the variance is given as 4 by 3. So, what is our p value? p is equal to, see here, so, P is equal to 2 by 3. So, this value is nothing but 2 by 3. Q is equal to 1 by 3 and N value is equal to 6. According to the binomial distribution, this is P plus Q power N. And see, now what is it we have to calculate? We have to calculate probability of... Uh, so, this is the question X greater than or equal to 1. So, this means that... So, we have to add from x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, this will be very, very lengthy process. That is probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2 till probability of x is equal to 6. So, we have, see, total probability that is probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2 and so on plus and so on probability of x is equal to 6 so n is equal to 6 total probability is always equal to 1 so i need the value from 1 till 6 instead of getting this value i'll i'll directly subtract 1 minus probability of x is equal to 0 so this means that probability of x greater than or equal to 1 can otherwise be calculated as 1 minus this is probability of x is equal to 0 instead of calculating from this till this. So, I am going to calculate 1 minus probability of x is equal to 0. See, according to the binomial distribution, the formula is probability of x is equal to r is equal to ncr. This is p power r and q power this is n minus r as all the values are ready here. So, 
now probability of x greater than or equal to 1 is equal to 1 minus ncr what is the value of n 6 what is the value of r 0 that is 6 is 0 what is our p value p is equal to 2 by 3 2 by 3 power r and q is equal to 1 by 3 so this is 1 by 3 power n minus r that is 6 minus 0 so the value here is 1 minus 6 e naught the value 1 anything to the power of 0 1 and this is 1 by 3 power 6 this value is 1 by 3 power 6 so which can be written as 1 minus 1 by 3 power 6 the value here is 0 0.9986 Therefore, the probability of x greater than or equal to 1 is equal to 0 0.9986. So, this is how we have to calculate and thank you so much for watching. So, see here when mean is given and variance is given, please remember that uh, mean mu is equal to NP and the variance is equal to NPQ. So, after dividing, so I got the value of Q and after getting Q, I calculated the value of P and as well N is equal to 6. So, here we have to calculate probability of x greater than or equal to 1. So, from x is equal to 1 till 6, we have to calculate. So, instead of calculating this whole thing, I can subtract probability of x is equal to 0 from 1. And this is the final answer. Thank you so much.